We're not going to be looking at gift cards. We're not going to be looking at uh, business cards because there's too many. There's too many to look at all of these. We're just going to be looking at loyalty cards. Cards for members, the loyalty ember, burning with charm. What's the harm? Just keep spending your leg and your arm. All identifying numbers are taped off for these things, so back off, identity thieves. Flap away, vultures. Find thinner skin, leeches. Bad value cards. Oh, no. Let's talk about more rewards. More Rewards is under the Save On Foods umbrella. It's their membership system to encourage you to shop there and save. We have sky high prices, but if you join our membership only club, you'll get hmm, above average prices. But aren't your prices still above average? Yes, but imagine how much you'll save on $14 toilet paper. Oh. Care to try a sample size? Sure. With their point system, I think I've gotten maybe a $5 credit uh, like twice a year. So this one gets a freebie credit of 100 to 0.33. Freebie ratios are essentially a comparison of $100 to the value of the freebie that you will get after spending money at a place. So the number on the right is all you need to focus on because if it's a higher number, it's a better value. Next we have Petro points. I used to get snacks at the gas station near my work. Uh, used to. <laughs> For Petro points, my transactions show approximately one point per dollar spent, and they kindly advertise one dollar off per 1,000 points. So I'm going to extrapolate to one thousand dollars means one dollar back. <laughs> These two things link together. And to make things even more Canadian, there's another card that links with these two. It's a Top Shop Top Man Rewards card. Also usable at Hudson's Bay, very Canadian, and Home Outfitters. So all three of these cards operate under the same points ecosystem. Don't let the combined companies get you too excited. It will still cost about five thousand points to get a twenty-five dollar gift card back from Hudson's Bay. So the value of this gets a big old question mark. And the value of the points for these also get a big old question mark because all of these three things work together to give you points. You just get points. It's very unclear what these points do across all three different platforms. So I might make a follow up if there's sufficient interest. Let me know below if that's the case. Next we have Evo. Evo is a car share program in Vancouver that costs about the same amount as taxis until you start getting into trips that are over an hour long. <laughs> oh! Evo shares the optimal timing in the fine print of their website. Uh, it says 36 minutes or less will charge you the per minute rate, 37 or more minutes will get you the hourly rate, and the per day rate will give you the best prices for 6 to 24 hours. So I think those rates all come into effect after passing a certain time bracket. However, I have record of multiple trips that are under an hour and cost more than $14.99. And that's just going by my bank account, because at the time of this recording, I can't see any of my trips on the Evo website. Even if I wanted to, I couldn't look up the minutes spent in the cars versus how much that trip cost. So there's no way that I can verify that I've been on longer trips than a few minutes that also cost more than $15. Evo does give you 10 free driving minutes for your birthday. So in this case, I just added up my usage in 2019 and subtracted the 10 free driving minutes for a freebie ratio of 100 to 2.9. Okay, next up we have a TD credit card. I'm not sure what the dollar to point value is for this uh, rewards card. I've spent a couple thousand dollars on this credit card and currently have a balance of 4,400 points. On the TD Rewards shopping zone, a copy of Mario Maker 2 costs 35,751 points. If we go by their advertised point values and really make an effort to get three points, for every dollar spent on this card, I would still need to spend $11,917 to gather enough points to get a quote unquote free copy of Mario Maker 2. In the amount spent column, you can see that I spent $9,190 on this credit card, and I'm pretty sure I just redeemed $25 cash one time and just paid it toward the credit card debt. And that's a freebie ratio of 100 to 0.27. That's it for the bad value cards. Let's go on to neutral cards. 
This is a card for Black Dog Video, a, a video rental company in Vancouver, uh, and it has two faded stamps on the back. So I'm, I'm really not sure what it was for, but I, I like having it because Black Dog are nice. So they get a question mark. This is a loyalty card for my favorite nail salon, where I recently got my nails shellacked. I got a manicure and a nail shellac, which costs around $40. Um, and this card is for services $25 and up. I can't wait till my next shellac. Next we have a loyalty card for Pleasant Beans, which are a cafe near a library. And their loyalty card has 20 slots before you get something. Let's say it's $5 for every drink, and that would be 20 drinks, which would be about $100 to eventually get a $5 drink. Naturally, the freebie ratio is 100 to five. Next, we have a loyalty card for Verdura. Verdura offers many salads that are nice and hearty and you can customize them however you want. Usually a meal with them, if you're also getting a drink and adding tip, costs around $20. So let's say that's 10 meals times $20, $200 to get a maximum $15 free salad, which is a freebie ratio of 100 to 7.5, which so far isn't the worst. Verdura. Our loyalty cards are not the worst. This is the Vancouver Film Festival membership card. This card is only $5, but is required for anyone entering the building. Um, the donor options are a bit pricey for me, but they're a nonprofit. You could support them and get a whole bunch of crazy perks for hundreds of dollars. So have fun, fancy patrons. Mm, marriage story in a theater. I do love a good relatable domestic yarn, don't you? Yes, being here in this theater watching this domestic drama reminds me of being quarantined, alone in a house. Not like us. <laughs> Next we have TJX Style Plus. There are a couple benefits on the website listed, including you can bring up to 20 items in a changing room instead of the usual like six. You can keep your e-receipts on file, which is great. It's better than uh, the Hudson's Bay cards. You can also get a 10% discount on tailoring and dry cleaning through a service called Stitch It. And there's a Stitch It depot over at the Metro Town location, just uh, a ways away over in Burnaby. No freebies. This is a TD debit card. It costs $16 a month to use, plus $5 for overdraft protection, plus an overdraft interest fee if you are currently overdrafted. TD Canada Trust. You can trust us as far as you can throw us. How do you throw a bank? I don't know. No freebies. This is a compass card. Strap in because I have feelings about transit. Ooh, a millennial with feelings about transit. Ooh. At the card's current rate, you're allowed 40 single purchases of transit before you will spend more than a one zone monthly pass at $98. All of that is without social outings. And we didn't even touch the possibility of the three zone system if I'm on a SkyTrain going long distance. There's student pricing called U-Pass, but unfortunately that's not for part-time students. That's a lot of counting! Exactly, Jordy! In a perfect world, I would know all my gigs before a month began. I would plan all of my social events a month ahead of time. I would have no changes in my work or my school schedules, but clearly, Things don't always work out according to plan. You could always ask bus drivers for free rides. Can I help you? Hi, uh, can I get a ride? I'm having a really tough month financially. Not my problem. This party bus is late. So, hasta luego, Monfrego. No, no. Decent value cards. Okay. This card is for Black Bond Books, an independent bookseller who are really neat if you don't want to get glormed into a Chapters or Indigo membership. Or should I say, Indigo? So, if you kept yourself to buying $5 books with this card, you could actually get a really good deal on your 11th book if it was also $5. Ta-da! This is a Horizon insurance card and it belongs to my dad. I don't think I qualify as a dependent under his account anymore. Really, just another reason to uh, <laughs> stay here in Canada for socialized healthcare. Merci, merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup au nom de tous les bébés. This is a BC driver's license, 
Government ID, you gotta love it. I use it to drive and get into funky clubs, and I flash at bartenders when they inevitably ask me, Oh, hi! Can I help you at the juice hole? Um, can I get the special, please? Oh, certainly, certainly. Oh, one quick question. Uh, can I see your ID? Oh, little old me. Do you need to see my ID? Do I have to? Yes! No freebie. This is a Nexus card. This is next level government ID. So after you pay some sassy $80 fees to get the document processed, then wait for half a year, um, you can get an interview at the border so they know that you're not gonna bring any guns or weed or immigrants into the, uh, cross the country lines. And the next thing you know, you can skip the line at the border. Now. Of course, the um, the borders are closed. Yar! What are you doing at the border between land and the high seas? It's fine. I'm uh, I'm Nexus. <gasps> get get broke, fear! Get that out of me sight! It don't matter around here, Sonny. Now get out of here. Quarantine. Ah. Quarantine. Ah. Get out. God. Quarantine. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, Jonathan, nobody knows the trouble I've seen. Nobody knows my sorrow, except for you, Jonathan. You're my best friend. <laughs> but isn't that sad? No friends. This is my BCIT ID. Yay, education! Some freebies! It depends on the program you're enrolled in. This one is a Vancouver Community Gym One Card. It's pretty good, and it allows access to a bunch of community centers for $49 a month or $54 for 10 visits. No! Next we have Optimum PC Points. These are valid at Shoppers Drug Mart as well as No Frills. And No Frills is simply the best. Their prices are the lowest prices. I don't know how they do it. You never see $1 food items in Vancouver except at No Frills. Check out, uh, look at the flyer. A quick search of PCOptimum.ca shows that you can get tons of points, and it appears the easiest thing to do with your points is donate them to charity. I couldn't find any other purpose for them, uh, and here's just some footage of me clicking through. It will direct you to a map and then show you, point you to a store. It tells you that you can, in theory, buy a bunch of different stuff, but it doesn't really have any online marketplace where you can check like point values for things, which is fine, just for good journalism. The best value cards. There's only one card in all of these collections that is really, really worth your money and your patronage, and it is the Vancouver Library card. Listen, the Vancouver Library rips. Look at this. You get access to recording studios at the downtown location. You get digitization stations and computers with Adobe Creative software for free. You get to rent instruments for free. You can rent like a million physical books for free. You can get Blu-rays, DVDs, CDs. You can go to public events. You can go to public speakers. You can see films. You can visit the writers and residents. You can get to book clubs, teen book clubs, baby book clubs, mommy book clubs, senior book clubs. Holy dang, the library, you know? They're still offering all of that digital library stuff for free and you can use all those memberships online that you would be a fool not to use. A fool, I say! That's it, that's the one good card. So let's wrap up the video. Even in the best cases, you need to spend $100 to get five to $10 back in goods or services. And with credit cards, it's just, it's, it's way steeper and impossible to track what the benefits and what the freebie ratio might even be. You'll never make any money back with loyalty cards they're not for you, they're for the businesses offering them. You don't get free airplane tickets for piling up credit card debt. After doing this whole exploration, I'm pretty sure you're better off ignoring loyalty cards unless you're already a regular at some location. I just need to worry about paying off my debt. And where's the loyalty card for paying off my debt? I'm glad I asked. It's just over here. It's this little doohickey right here. It says, pretty cool, <laughs> on the back. It's the, uh, it's my too hot to trot debt repayment streak. 
and I will use it to remind myself uh, to pay off the debt on time, keep track and just make sure I'm doing it consistently. And at the end of it, I get a totally free added bonus of doing something fun with friends. That loyalty card measures something that's actually important, just consistent payments on the debt management plan. And you might be, th you might be thinking to yourself, what's the freebie ratio? It's priceless. Just kidding, it's $90 a month. Share this with a friend and comment below what are your experiences with loyalty cards or credit cards? Have you found any that have really amazing free rewards and like things that they offer? Because I want to know. So far, after doing all of this digging, there's really not that much that's actually like gonna turn heads or really change your life. 